Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to create this beautiful org chart using the slide master feature in PowerPoint. So, let's get started. First, go to the view tab on the top and enable the slide master. On this slide you will find some placeholders at the bottom. Just drag over to select and then delete them. Next, go to the insert tab. And then let's draw some reference lines. The reason is that the PowerPoint will not show guides when Slide Master is enabled. First, draw a horizontal line and then align it to the middle. Similarly, draw a vertical line and then align it centrally to the slide. Next, go to the Insert tab and then draw a circle shape through the center of the slide. Make it no fill, change its outline color to black and format its outline with a dashed line. Now duplicate this circle shape, align it centrally to slide and then reduce its size as shown. Next, select the vertical reference line and duplicate it. Right click and choose format shape. And then rotate this shape by 25 degrees. Now drag and align it to the center as shown. Now again duplicate this reference line, flip it horizontally and align it as shown. Select all three lines and group them. Next duplicate this group, then rotate it by 120 degrees and align it as shown. Duplicate this group one more time. This time rotate it by 240 degrees and align it as shown. It's very important to align all these lines centrally to slide, so zoom in and adjust them if required. Next, go to the Insert Placeholder option and then choose Picture. Draw and create a picture placeholder and then align it centrally to slide. Next, go to the Insert tab and then draw a circle shape. Now select the picture placeholder and the circle shape and then intersect them together to get this placeholder in a circular shape. Go to the Home tab and reduce the font size and also apply the outline to see its boundaries. Let's slightly reduce its size as per our design requirement and then duplicate it. Now align this placeholder as shown and reduce its size. Continue to duplicate this placeholder several times, reduce their sizes as needed and place them in the circular pattern along the reference lines. That looks perfect. Next, delete all the reference lines as we don't need them now. Finally, close the slide master view. Next, go to the layouts option and choose the design which we have created just now. Next, select the middle picture placeholder and apply the solid fill. Select the eyedropper tool and change the color using color palettes. Again using the eyedropper tool, change the outline color 
and increase its width to 3 points. Similarly, change the fill and outline colors of all other picture placeholders using the eyedropper tool and color palettes. That looks perfect. Now let's zoom in and then go to the insert tab and then draw an arrow line as shown. Change its weight and color using the eyedropper tool. Next, duplicate this arrow line several times, change their colors and connect all picture placeholders in a pattern as shown. It's better to group these arrow patterns and then rotate them by 120 and 240 degrees to match their angles. Finally, ungroup all the arrow lines. Next, add the text fields to each of the picture placeholders. So here is the final preview. Next, we will see how to add your images to this org chart. So to add your images, just click on the icon in the middle, select your image and then insert it. Following the same steps, you can add your pictures to all picture placeholders. So here is the final preview after inserting your images. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.